with our serious coping during this trying times. We are going to be joined by some of our professional experts to make living possible despite all of the distractions in the economy and in the environment. We will be having today Erica Lassan, who is the rich, the live rich queen, that's what I call her. As soon as she joins at 2 p.m., we will introduce her. A uh, very impressive resume, and uh, you will be very impressed and definitely want to follow her on her great work to help your great life. Uh, it's going to be a great day today with several. Uh, Erica is our first speaker for the day, and as soon as I see her on, I will invite her in, and you will get to talk to her live and hear her live and direct, and of course, be able to follow as the need arises. Thank you so much as I await our guests. All right, I am waiting. I hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and of course, following all the instructions, social distancing, and still living life full and happy. There's power in you giving your permission, the love and the joy that your heart desires. Please be amongst the people that will do that because they have pulled themselves out of this. So we need likes of listeners and followers to really know that, yes, it's okay to be happy, even though we have so many reasons around us to be distracted. We are alive. We are healthy. So right there and then, we should always be thankful and express our thanks and gratitude with joy, with peace, with love, and you will be blessed within the next um, 50, uh, 25 to 30 minutes that we will be having uh, Miss Lassen on the phone, uh, on the um, <laughs> uh, on the phone, no, on the Instagram live. You will definitely be able to learn one or two things that would allow you to understand why it is important to leave on despite distractions in the area. We have been coming live at you for the past few weeks. On Mondays through Fridays, we literally have different topics that would allow you to prepare to know that COVID-19 is going to be over and that we need to prepare. So if you have missed some of our sessions, I encourage you to visit the Remy Speaks Facebook page and follow some of our topics and maybe some of the pointers, the nuggets that we've shared and that our speakers have shared in the past will be of benefit to you. Our role is to make sure that we bring platform of inspiration and platform that will help you to execute and also to get results, not to come what is happening, but to be able to know that, yes, we all can give ourselves the privilege to be happy. Thanks for joining us. We are waiting our speaker for today, uh, Erica from EricaLasson.com, Live Rich Queen. So as soon as I see her on, I will be live. She will be the uh, person encouraging and giving us tips on what has been going on in her neck of the wood. And as soon as she joins, I will introduce her and she will take it away and be the one that will guide us. So thanks, Mercy. I hope that you're staying safe. Hope you're staying healthy. For viewers, just later, we've had this series for over three, four weeks, and it has really, we've gotten great feedback from some of you that it has been of help to you. Some of you have said that that has propelled you to even start something new. This is the time not to be afraid to start something new. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. We appreciate your taking time to join us. It's more important because you could do so many things right now. But we, we're happy and honored that you've joined us. So what we've done is to be able to let people know that life still goes on right now. And maybe peradventure some of us are stuck and we're just having difficulty with what we need to do. We should not be 
weary, we should not be tired. You cannot do it alone. You need other people around you. We've talked about having board of directors, people in your life that will give you that inspiration, that you will align your gift, your talent, and your treasure with, that they too would collaborate with you. That those bold and big ideas Went about forever, never had time to even put it on paper, that this is the time to do that. So that's what has happened the past few weeks. I'm, I'm summarizing it, but when you go and watch it, you can see it for yourself as I await this afternoon. Um, I'm just trying to give you that you might have missed if you have not been joining us later today too we're going to have some other young dynamic professionals who will be joining us and i see erica is online let me get her in it's her show let me get her in to do her thing hello erica welcome welcome all right waiting for erica so we will get her live and I, all right. Hello, Erica, how are you? Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. I can't hear you very well. I don't know what's happening. One well, I hear you loud and clear. Hmm, you sound very faded on my, oh, I think I know what's happening. One moment. I hear you very well. Here we go. You can hear my baby now. So we will do the introduction and allow you to take it away. It's, it's your show. It's your. It's our opportunity to hear some of those great work that you're doing with your clients. And now we get to hear you for free and learn one or two tips. So welcome to all our viewers. We have our speaker, our special guest online right now. Erica Lassan is in the house. So I will be... Hello, Erica. I will be reading her resume. I know some of you, you know her short bio, not even resume. I, I dare not try to read all her resume. We will not be gone for a minute. But I want to read her bio. So all of you that might join later that might have not had the opportunity and the privilege to follow her, you, you would know why you need to follow her. So I want to go with her bio. Erica, faith pearls and purpose propelled. Erica Lassan is an alignment and a strategist, but you can simply call her a vision pusher. Don't wait for that right now, all of you. As a multi-passionate, creative, turned entrepreneurial, stay-at-home mom, Erica knows all about dream chasing. After graduating college in the midst of the 2009 recession with no job prospects, Erica looked to her talents, passion, and childhood to create her livelihood. Since then, the, desi the designer, digital storyteller, and online on-air host has produced a number of projects, developed new products, and some cute kids as well. Yes, yes. Yes, I know about that. Life transitional, <laughs> life's transitional life phases can be outright weird. Yes, indeed. Tell me about it. Leaving high school, graduating college to enter the workforce, shifting into parenthood and easing into retirement all lead to a question of what's next. Don't we all think that? The answer, whatever the heart desires. Erica's leverage model is a cry for everyone to use their gifts and live within their joy doing what they have to do and more of what they want to do i can echo that how by envisioning the spectrum of possibilities when it comes to what a happy healthy purpose-filled life could look like and then strategizing the steps needed to get them there. Miss Leverage, Dream <laughs> Chasing, welcome aboard. We are so honored and excited to have you on board. This is your second opportunity and our desire to have you and to share your gift, your talent with the world. Please, this is your show. This is an opportunity 
for us to learn from your fountain of knowledge and creativity and, and, and faith and passion. And today we have people who might be watching now, people that will join later. We brought you on to please inspire and courage and talk to our viewers to know that life still goes on right now. Isn't that true, Erica? Oh my goodness. Yes, it is true. Um, I want to say thank you for having me on. And like <laughs> this has been so much fun and it brings me so much joy and I, I really appreciate you having me be a part of your platform um, to be able to share this message of joyful living with everyone. Um, so um, as Mrs. Remy Dealey has stated, I am Erica Lasan and I'm an alignment and empowerment strategist. And basically what I do um, and my purpose here on this life is to make sure that everyone is living a happy, healthy, purpose-filled life. Because when you're able to tap into those things, then you are able to access the joy that is purposed for you in this life. Um, and really what you were created for, because um, we were created to be joyful people. Like the Lord didn't create us to be sad and like upset and just like floating through life. Everything that he's designed in this world serves a purpose and an intention. And your life, whoever is watching this, is is a part of that, you know, no matter how mundane you may think your gifts and your talents are, no matter how um, like easy you think things may be to you recognize that those things that may come with ease to you um are part of your gift and part of the reason why you need to you and bringing you joy yes but also fueling the joy in other people's lives and inspiring them to do more of the same as well um so yeah i'm really excited to be here <laughs> thank you so very much and my first question and i know you have a lot of nice stories to tell us just tell us a little bit about your story of how did you get here now that you're inspiring others and helping them leap forward how did that happen for you um well it it, it happened through i would i would call it a, a time of crisis actually like or pain you know because i i think that um a lot of times people don't really want to go through the hard times of things but um what happens when you go through those hard times is that you encounter growth. And that's exactly what happened for me. Um, all of this really started in, um, well, first let me say this. I've, I've been doing this my whole life, right? Because this is my gift. This is my purpose. It is the thing that brings me joy. I've been doing it my whole life. But what happened was I was looking for other people to give me outlets for my creativity, for my passions, for the things that I wanted to do. Like I was looking for people to um, pay me to use those things. Like, you know, it, it's weird because it's like we all have the ability to do what, what it is that we want to do. But based on how society is like, nurtured us to think we think we need to have a job in order to do the things that we want to do almost like we need permission yeah. you know which is not the case so um right why didn't it back? Uh, in 2009 i graduated during the uh the recession um and i could not find a job I was, like looking i was looking i was like sending out resumes and i know that a lot of people have probably experienced this especially if you graduated during that time and if you're graduating during this time more than likely the same thing is probably going to happen where you're putting out all of these resumes and you're 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 so gifted so so full of potential and nobody was giving me a job i was at my um college internship and they luckily for me it was a paid internship so i was making money but it wasn't like I felt like, like I was being valued, you know, they, they valued me to the extent that I was an, an intern, you know, I don't think that they really recognized the potential of like my creative ideas. Um, I don't think that they really, I just felt like they weren't using me, you know? So, um, for a really long time while I was there, it just led to me feeling now that I think about it, maybe it was a mild depression. I don't know. It actually, yeah, it probably was because I was crying every day <laughs> i would go to the bathroom i would take 20 minute bathroom breaks but i wasn't using the bathroom i was just toileting 
crying. Um, I was. take lunch breaks and on my lunch breaks I would would walk around the building and I would call my boyfriend and I would on the phone with him but every day I would be crying and at one point I, I think something he was listening and he was very very responsive and very supportive as he still is he's not my husband um, but he at one point said something that clicked for me where he was like, well, Erica, what is it that you want to do? And I was like, I don't know. I want to do all the things. Well, something, literally do something and something went off and I was like, oh, snap, you're right. I should just do something. At this point, that's exactly what I did. I went back to the drawing board. Um, I started figuring out the things that uh, I had really kind of left behind in pursuit of what I thought was the right thing to do. Um, and going to college, you know, I used to make jewelry and that made me really happy. I stopped making jewelry when I went to college. Um, I used to take photos and do photography. Um, I always wanted to be a, a VJ um, and, and, and just living in the things that made me happy. So I kind of did all of those things. And then I, at one point when I realized that things were starting to gain momentum, I actually ended up quitting um, the job at the marketing agency because I figured at the end of the day, if all else failed, I could always go back to a job like that. What I didn't have time to do was waste just sitting around crying every day about things that were potentially in my control. So um, that was a lesson that really just put me on a path to trying like a whole bunch of different things and working in a bunch of different industries, um, including editorial publishing. I worked with Ebony Magazine. I've created online digital series. I've gotten digital series picked up by like uh, digital networks on the West Coast. I've posted red carpet for award shows like I've done so many cool things and it really just started from the idea of well just do something and um, over the years I've just been doing those things but I realized that what it comes down to for me is really inspiring people while I enjoy doing the things that I do inspiring people to do the things that they enjoy as well and living in their goods because um, I enjoy talking to strangers and the conversation always comes back to well what's your dream you know <laughs> Wow, Erica, I mean, that's a loaded answer. It's a loaded answer for such a time as this. Like you said, 2009, we thought was not that great. We don't know what's going to happen after this, but you're right. There are listeners now who maybe are going to be graduating or have graduated. Rather than looking without, look within. And thank God for your hobby. Now, just do something. And that's what we all do. We, we know so much. And we don't even mm -hmm. get started, and then we can't start anything, and we get overwhelmed. Thank you for being vulnerable and sharing those tips, because this is what it's all about, everyone. Right now is a time that we all need transformation in our lives. We need to be able to point fingers, not just those who are in the Bible or any special faraway place. Human beings that are like us, that we can say, Erica did it. I can do it. And that's what you've just allowed our viewers. And I know that as we ask you for the question, this is part of what you do for you help people find their purpose. You help them really tra get transformed and do all of those things that they need to do. So that takes me to my next question. How would you define purpose as it relates to purpose and how with your uh, professional experience, how do you help? to find their purpose? Um, so to answer the first question of potential and purpose, everything that we do, has, we as, as 
human beings are infinite pools of potential. The question is, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to sit on it or are you going to activate it? Um, and as far as how I help people, I help people in a number of ways, but I have um, online courses that I do. Like right now, I'm in the process of launching my quarter two version of um, Vision Casting, Living in Purpose on Purpose. It's a four-week workshop where we really dive deep in getting to know who you are, what it is that you're, you've are you been created to do, and how you can get started in that process. Um, but before that, I also have something called the Joy Quest that I've created as a way for people to start to activate their journey into what brings them joy. I don't know if this is frozen. I think it's frozen. Yeah, okay. No, it's, it's, it's frozen. I don't know why. It's a, I was like, I just don't know. You're frozen. I don't know. I was hearing you, but I was freezing you. You're right. Yeah, now I, I see you better now. Oh, okay. USC, you know me. Mine is not as important, but they probably. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, I have this uh, something called the Joy Quest that gets people started in their journey to joy. So within this, I've outlined steps that could be taken in order to help you access your joy in a purpose and intentional way. on a daily basis and within 30 days it'll become a habit so that you're daily you're activating your joy on the daily and you'll find that as you start to do this you'll want more of it because your life will be so transformed and so um shifted and more than anything your mentality that will allow you to keep this going going forward and then there's the workshop and then in addition to this i also do one-on-one -on -one coaching um and at some point in the near future, I'm going to have a uh, membership systems where people can come in and they can access this information and really just have more engagement and interaction within the group with me, but also other people as well. And um, recently, this is like new, but it's also very exciting for me and very fun. I've been putting together these events <laughs> um, and they are the ones that I've been putting together recently are called LRM Virtual Fiesta. Yes, and basically what we do is we have a party every Saturday to help people live in this joy and also connect with other people who are, just want to live happy lives because ultimately that's what it comes down to. So um, I am going to put this out here now, but if you guys are interested in joining an LRM Fiesta, we have one happening tonight. Um, you can RSVP in my bio. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Erica. This is what it's all about. We want information. We want people to use the information to activate their joy and their potential. And you said it all. You can't do it alone. You started very powerfully telling us how you had to look within your gift, your talent, what makes you happy to be able to really rebirth yourself, even though after you've gotten your degree, you knew you had to go within to do what you'd love to do. Now you're just systematizing it in a way you you help other people to get, get excited about your genius, but you're not you're doing it for yourself so you can do it for other people. And why I get excited about professionals like you is because you have the diverse knowledge. You're able to bring whosoever together to be able to share your experiences and your expertise from different angles. And that's not very common, that people have different backgrounds, different upbringing, and still can show up sometimes. And that takes me to my next question. People think there are limitations because they're green, blue, black, and, and yellow, and all of that. What is your take on that? Does that, or should that even stop your creativity? I know the answer, but I want you, I, I know. <laughs> Thank you, I want to feel that. <laughs> Um, absolutely not. You should not allow your background to limit you from your potential. As a matter of fact, that is the tool that will help you reach your potential. And this is part of the reason why I get so excited about people in general. And I think the reason why I'm kind of obsessed with strangers is because everybody, no matter where you, where you're from or what you do, element of your story is, is is so important to fueling your purpose and your passion, but not only that, speaking to others about theirs. Um, the, the beautiful thing about the fact that we're all, I never know what part of your story is going to
experiences life in a different way. And not only that, with where you're coming from, you don't know who you'll impact that's behind you coming from the same place. Um, I'm Nigerian American. I'm Nigerian. My parents are Nigerian. I grew up here. But I found that where, when growing up, I thought that being Nigerian was not like, it, not that I was, and I, I never denied that I was Nigerian. As a matter of fact, I'm recently starting to say I'm Nigerian American because I didn't grow up in Nigeria. And I recognize that that also has, um, it's things, you know, but I still claim my Nigerian heritage because it is so much a part of who I am. But for a really long time, I didn't recognize, I don't want to say the value in it, but growing up here, it, it definitely set me apart as other, you know, in some ways. And then the added layer on top of that is that I went to middle and high school at a private school in Baltimore. So I went to a predominantly white high school in elementary school. I went to a predominantly black middle school or elementary school. So that, but so there was always an element of me not being quite black and African. Then like with me being black in a white place, uh, a predominantly white place, you know. And so what I learned, especially after growing um, into my college career and after that, is that all of those really make me who I am and really make my story what it is because I have those varying uh, perspectives. You know, I don't just see things the way that my parents see yeah. things, but there's so much value in the way that they see things. Um, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm, I find it very um, open-minded because of the fact that I'm really white high school. I don't see things as like just based on, you know, my the culture that I was raised in so it's very impactful and very helpful for people to recognize that every part of your story matters what's most important is that you recognize the ways that you can leverage and harness the beauty in the that diversity of your story so well said Erica I mean leveraging and just embracing who you are and identifying that those stories is what makes you unique I remember in my corporate world had four stripes black female Nigerian accent and still the shattered the glass ceiling, rose to the highest. I had to embrace my story. Like you said, there are days that it wasn't easy. There are days that it was harder. But once you embrace who you are and you know that you want to pay it forward, you don't get distracted. So when you have to be with your friends or your black friends or your Nigerian friends, you fit in because you see people as people, not as those little segmentation that people bring on themselves. And thank you for sharing from your, your perspective as a younger adult. I know that people who are listening might be in that phase so they can realize that what you're saying is the truth. It's not just coming from an older generation who doesn't understand or know what they're doing, but you are saying it, you've said it, you believed in yourself. It took you a minute for someone to say, do something. Thank you for your hobby. I'm so happy that he's around to witness and support you to keep living large and living full. That's that's a blessing right there. Thanks to him. If he's watching, if he will watch later, let him know we appreciate him. And I know he's proud of you more than anybody else. So my question before we end, I know we have another four or five minutes. Maybe we'll be able to go a few minutes over if that's okay with you. Um, I, I want to ask there are some things that maybe people who would want to watch country, what is so special about Erica? What have you been able to do? What are the pointers that you want the listeners to be able to take away and go out there and be able to execute? What are the, including how they can find you? Because that is probably going to be part of the next steps that they want. So please take a step. Okay. Um, well, I, I mean, I think that we're all special in our ways, you know, but I think that one of the things that, um, one of the things that I'm grateful for in, in, in recognizing and, and seeking the Holy Spirit and recognizing my purpose is that I recognize that I can't do it on my own, you know, like the whole, I feel like even part of getting to this point of recognizing the potential of like the thing that I've always been doing but doing for free or doing just without structure and order, you know, um, once I really started to get spiritually grounded, um, and I know it probably sounds so cliche, but over the past three years, because like I said, I've been doing all of these things my entire life, but the past three years, it's really like, I can't take credit for anything because it's really like a God thing. I, I can't, I can't state it any more clearly. It probably sounds very vague, but 
it's like I know that this is what I've been intentioned for. I know that this is what I've been gifted for and purpose for. But I think that the benefit in working with someone like me is that I am very creative. I see opportunity. I see moments of chaos and um, like I don't even uncertainty as opportunities for fun and opportunities for learning and opportunities for growth and opportunities to get excited, you know, rather than getting bogged down by the negative uh, side of whatever is happening that really leads people to kind of get bogged down in fear. I find those as opportunities to like push something amazing. Um, So I think that that's one of the biggest uh, things about me and one of the greatest gifts. Um, But I also recognize that that joy does not come from me alone like, like it's really a holy spirit thing and I, i'm so grateful for it and and recognizing my need to give God the glory for the ability to do that because for a really long time when I did it, I found that I was also in a place of like, woe is me, you know? Um, so just keeping that alignment. So that's why I say everything I do is faith fueled and purpose propelled. Um, and yeah, it just makes me really excited and really happy to think of creative ways to do a lot of things. And, and ultimately it does come down to happy, healthy purpose. So while my background is in uh, d- design, cause I, I make jewelry, um, t-shirts, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm wearing all my stuff right now. Um, while I make jewelry and why I've done like blogging and on air hosting and social media management and um, like writing and speaking, like I've done a lot of things. Ultimately, what I realized is that it comes back to the people and it comes back to helping people recognize their ability life that they love um so i mean i've worked with celebrities and done stuff like that but it doesn't bring me as much joy as working with everyday people and just helping them tap into their potential um because i feel like everybody has celebrity it, it, everyone is that's what i call them you know um and i i just want people to see themselves as such um what was the other question? Uh, where can people find me um, ericalasan.com <laughs> it's like the one stop shop for everything that I do um, the jewelry is linked there the uh, d- the products like the digital products, the videos, the classes the workshops, everything is linked um, the events, like tonight's party also linked uh, on ericalasan.com uh, you can follow me at ericalasan on Instagram oh. <laughs> Erica, thank you so very much as always and Thank I want to leave on this note. One thing that attracts us to your brand is that fire brand, that God factor. A lot of times people cannot recognize that God factor in what they do. And nobody can do it alone. It takes everyone, but it takes God to inspire you to know the, the ones to connect with. Because not everybody is going to be a destiny helper. Not everybody will be a destiny changer. But when you anchor your faith in God Almighty, then he directs your path. And that's what you have said in the past 30 minutes, how the Holy Spirit has been a guiding light to you. So we want to say thank you to you for sparing time out of your family time to be here. And viewers, you're hearing it, ericalassan.com. You can inbox us or just go straight there. I'm going to sign up and be part of that party. Maybe not tonight, maybe the one next week. Let's come. Are, are, are we allowed? Is it for everybody? It's for everybody. Literally, it's everybody. I've been trying to get my mom and dad to come for the longest. But, okay. 
everybody it's an opportunity to, to have a good time um dance like there's a people don't recognize but there's a lot of dancing that goes on in this I, I think i'm actually about to put up a video that i edited yesterday from the last one but you work up a sweat you um you you really get hot because you're dancing hard um there's music there's conversation there's wow. laughter there's so much laughter and joy and um just the opportunity to meet people from all over the country and um um, I'm hoping soon, like all over the world. So awesome. yeah, you, it's you just gotta go to ericoson.com yeah. slash events, and then you can RSVP. It's free for now, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a good time and a way to connect with people. And, and some of our viewers are global, so you definitely need to make this global enough that everybody that wants to be able to connect can connect. So I see the thing is frozen again for me. Sorry. Okay, now it's back to normal. It was freezing for a minute. So I said uh, we have uh, viewers who are global. So at some point, well, you might want to open it up to everybody so that we can all break a sweat and have fun and, and just have have a good laugh. Yes. Yeah, it's open now. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection and you you're awake when my kids are sleeping, you can go <laughs> because that's why I, I, that's the those are, that dictates the time that I'm able to do stuff. Right. Um, so the party starts at eight thirty. But if you're awake at if you're in Nigeria, it would be like seven o'clock in the or no seven hours. So nine thirty ten no, to be five, like five hours now. Oh, oh, yeah. so yeah, if you're up at three a.m. in Nigeria, come party with us. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Erica, thank you so very much. And for all our viewers, we appreciate you. Definitely share this, share the information you've heard. It definitely takes all of us to get through this. And thank you for coming out to share this with our viewers. And uh, we will be calling on you again. So let's get things going. I'm really very proud of the great work you're doing. And blessings to all our viewers. And thank you very much. Goodbye. No problem. Live rich and happy dream chasing. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.